21-year-old Andrew Goodman was among the first contingent to depart for Mississippi. On the first day of Freedom Summer, June 21, 1963, Goodman, James Cheney, and Michael Schwerner left Project Headquarters in Meridian to investigate the burning of a black church in neighboring Neshoba County. They were never heard from again. Within days, the FBI turned up the remains of their burnt-out station wagon, but there was no sign of the boys. As the intense search continued, locals refused to cooperate with investigators. The word on the street was, if they were killed, they got what was coming to them. Assistant Attorney General John Doerr condemned the lack of cooperation from local officials, saying, a thousand eyes explored every corner of Neshoba County, but Neshoba County remained silent. 44 days into the investigation, the FBI received an anonymous tip. Even the buzzards sensed what lay beneath the Mississippi clay. Uh, Mr. President, yeah. uh, Mr. Hoover wanted me to call you, sir, immediately and tell you that the FBI has uh, found three bodies six miles southwest of Philadelphia, Mississippi. We have not identified them as yet as the three missing men. But we have every reason to believe that they are the three missing men. The gruesome discovery solved half the mystery. Finding and prosecuting those responsible remained. Dead Edgar Hoover on 9-1. Edgar, I wanted to call you last night. I want to congratulate you on a job well done. Well, that's awful nice of you indeed. You might be interested, the physical examination showed that each of these men had been shot. Huh. Uh, yeah, the two white men had been shot uh, once each, and the colored fellow was shot three times. Oh. And uh, we have the names of the people who did it. Now, to prove it, it's going to be a little tougher job. The sheriff was in on it. The deputy sheriff was in on it. The justice of the peace was in on it. And there were seven other men. But we have all those names, and as I say, we are concentrating now on developing the evidence. Only 1,200 blacks were added to Mississippi's voter rolls during Freedom Summer, at a brutal cost of 35 shootings, 30 bombings, 80 physical attacks, and six murders. 15,000 other Negro applicants petitioned the registrar, but were rejected. But the summer project was far from a failure. It helped to launch the Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party, which challenged the legitimacy of the all-white Democratic Party in the state. And it successfully focused national attention on the need for voting rights legislation, a cause that was destined to galvanize the movement and the entire nation in Selma, Alabama, six months later. <laughs> 